Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're gonna be going over my account and I'll show you my progression. I've been playing the contest for a little over seven years now. And uh, I am, I guess I would say free to play for 99.9% .9 of it. Uh, there was a time where I had the sigil and I had the sigil only for the um, extra inventory space. Well, when Kabam expanded our inventory, I dropped the sigil. So I had the sigil for a few months, um, but we're going to see what a free-to-play account is going to look like if you want to compete at a higher level. So let's take a look first at my profile. All right, so... This is what I have accomplished in seven years of uh, grinding that arena. All right. And I'm going to show you this here. Obviously, relics are new, but I want you to look at my stats. Look at the PvP fights one. That is what it takes. You have to grind out that arena. That is where I get all my units. Um, if you watched my uh, Greater Banquet Crystal opening or any of those, I don't buy units. So all the units that I have, I grind it for them. All right. So this is what my stats look like. All right. Now, um, let's go to story progression. We'll start with uh, book one. And as you can see, I have completed everything in book one. Okay. Book two, as you can see, I have completed everything in book two so far. Uh, 8.1 is the latest out right now, as you can see. Uh, 8.2 coming soon, but I'm ready. All right. Now, let's take a look at my champions. Now, first, I want you to see this. Filter. Unowned. That's it. I have every other champion in some rarity except Wolverine Weapon X. Maybe I'll get him in my next uh, Greater Banquet uh, Crystal Opening. I don't know. But that's the only champion I don't have at all. Okay, he's not available as a one, two, three, four star. He's only available as a five or a six star, and he's a trophy champion. I've gotten all the others uh, somehow. Gold Pool, Kabam just gave him to us. Um, and we had a mystery because I've said that I'm free to play. I know what I spent, right? Um, but we're thinking that Kabam maybe had a glitch at one time, but I'm going to show you guys this two star and where are you? Let me do it this way. This guy right here. A two-star red Deadpool. I got him a long time ago, and I don't remember how I got him, but I do know I did not spend any money for him. Now, we were talking about this on uh, one of my live streams, and those who bought the package... The package came with other rarities of this guy. I don't have any other rarity except this two star. So we were thinking, what if um, Marvel Insider maybe had him? We don't know. If Marvel Insider had him for a special, then that's how I got him. Um, otherwise, really don't know. Uh, Big Blue, uh, another... Um, 
uh, well, he's not playing anymore. But another uh, player who has a really good memory, he told me that there was a uh, arena that was actually free to enter. Now, whether that was because it was a bug or what, but that could be why I have this two star. But I didn't buy the package or else I'd have the three star as well. And you had to buy an entry into the arena. So if I had bought an entry into the arena, first of all, I would have had some of the other ones and I would have grinded to get the four star. So it's a mystery. You know, the only thing that um, would have been sort of viable is that I bought the package, forgot, and sold all the others except the two star. I don't remember doing that, but that was one of the things that was suggested as a viable, you know, reason that I could have had this two star only. But anyway, um, other than that, every champion, I pretty much got either crystals or an arena. All right. So let's start with my six stars. You can see no seven stars yet but my six stars. So if you see here, um, we have a new feature that makes it so much easier. Um, if you watch some of my older videos, I had to do a lot of this by hand, and then I would have a graphic that I made and, and um, all of that, but there's no need for any of that now because we can look right here and see exactly how many I have. So I have a total of 183 six stars. I have even arena teams once again. All right. Now I can do this. How many rank ones do I have? I have 109 rank ones. And let's take a look real quick at the rank ones. Um, some of these are worthy of taking up. Uh, Spider-Man Stealth Suit, I don't really like him. So he's probably going to stay at rank one for a while. Captain Marvel is good, but I have much better cosmics, as you will find uh, later in the video. Okay. Dragon Man, he's probably going to go up. Uh, Man Thing, he's probably going to go up. You know, just I had so many uh, rank ups that I did recently, but those are definitely ones that uh, will go up. All right. Um, probably Terax will go up. Falcon, the only reason I haven't taken him up yet is because he was not awakened. I kind of wanted to awaken him first before I took him up. Uh, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, definitely worthy of going up. I may do that. Um, we'll, we'll see when I do that. Sunspot, I run the Recoil Masteries and he's not the best with them. And again, I had other mutants that I'd rather take up. And I'll show you those a little bit later on. Uh, America Chavez is rank one for now, but she is about to be reworked. So um, they have already said they wanted to add some damage to her and that kind of thing. So she may be going up soon. Uh, White Magneto... He's worthy of going up, but honestly, I don't use him other than for his pre-fights. And not even a, a lot of that. All right. Ant-Man is much better than he was. Uh, so he may get a rank up at some point in time. Super Scroll is super annoying to fight. So he may also get one, but he's a cosmic. And I had so many cosmics. You, you'll see uh, what I mean. Colossus, he's worthy of going up, but again, I don't really use him that much. Uh, Wolverine Weapon X, she's also good. I probably will take her up eventually, but I'm waiting for some other mutants that I know I want to take up before I take her up. Mephisto, he's probably really good um, in Battlegrounds, so I'll take him up at some point in time. All right, Black Cat, I recently got her. I'll probably take her up as well. All right, and uh, Venom Pool is worthy, but again, in the Cosmics, I have a lot. 
I had a lot of cosmics. Iron Man Infinity War, he's going to be getting a, a buff. He's not awakened, and I kind of want him awakened. But his buff may mean that he's not going to get, um, that his signature ability may or may not be all that important. You know, we don't know what's going to happen when they uh, start messing around with him. Uh, Captain America not taking him up unawakened. Uh, in fact, he really needs to be SIG 200, but um, he's good. And I usually bring him uh, as a synergy partner with uh, Hercules. Uh, love my crossbones. He'll probably go up eventually. Long shot, also worthy. And my boy Hulk is getting a rework. I waited seven years for that. Seven years. And he's finally going to be getting a rework. And if they do a decent job on him, he's going up. Absolutely going up. All right. Um, I've seen a lot of good things with Joe Fixit. Um, haven't really played with him all that much. Um, but I believe he's also worthy of going up. Um, Thor, I love my boy Thor. And I see a lot of people ranking him up now for the next meta in Battlegrounds. But he's not awakened. I don't really feel like giving him a, a gem. And so he's going to stay at rank one for now. And uh, let's see. Yeah, most of these, uh, Black Bolt, I just got. Venom, definitely worthy of taking up. Uh, Scarlet Witch, she's not awakened. So not going to take her up. All right. So among the rank ones, I have several that I will take up once I awaken them. Until then, they're going to probably stay there. All right. Now, here are my rank twos. Anyone that I took up to rank two is potential to go to rank three. It's just that I got to get around to it, and I usually um, bump somebody else up over them. That's the only reason. Now, Guillotine, I took her to rank two before the Abyss of Legends came out because I thought she was going to be really good for that. No. We didn't know about the Abyss of Legends. We didn't know about the cap on the um, combo meter or anything like that. So, no. Uh, Ebony Maw, probably for Battlegrounds. Thing, I want him at SIG 200, but he will um, most likely go up. Uh, Punisher 2099, I may or may not, not sure. He's not a high priority. Um, Vision Arcus, I like Vision Arcus. Um, Scarlet Witch, this is Sigil Witch. I told you I had the Sigil at one time. Um, so Sorceress Supreme, she's not very friendly to the, the Recoil Mastery. So, mm. uh, Guardian, he is a beast. I think he's underrated by a lot of people. Um, but I want him at a high SIG. So he will probably go up eventually. I love Emma Frost. Don't really use her that much. Storm got a buff. She does a lot of good damage. Hood is low-key good. I don't use him a lot. Um, I used to bring him all the time with Ghost, and I used Ghost a lot. But I don't use the uh, Ghost Trinity a lot anymore. So um, who knows when I'm going to take him up. He's a mystic, so I might end up taking another mystic up like Man-Thing uh, before I take him up. Karnak, he's, I don't know. I took him to rank two, was thinking about taking him to rank three. I think he had gotten a buff around that time. But then I'm like, eh, not all that great uh, enough to take to rank three, but I may. Now, Thor Ragnarok, I had um, skill catalyst about to expire only reason i took him to rank two only reason but he ain't going to rank three anytime soon i don't like him he's not even awakened i could awaken him no and he's also not in the top prestige he used to be in the top prestige so that at least you had that reason to take him up no not doing it uh red hulk may go up um he's still quite good still a beast still got great damage and he's great for that in um hazard shift uh, incinerate poison uh, node. So he may go up. All right. Now, I did a lot of rank threes. 
Actually, wait, hold on. I, I didn't show you guys. Make sure you saw. I only have 14 rank twos. All right. So rank threes, I have 48 rank threes. I did a lot of ranking up recently. Um, once we saw materials coming in for uh, rank fives, Kabam started flooding us with all kinds of resources. So I'm able to take up a lot more rank threes. All right. So uh, if you watched uh, Alliance War in the past, you know why I took up Spider-Man uh, 2099 there. But Kabam pretty much uh, killed him uh, in Alliance War. He's still good in certain situations, but I had so much fun with him with um, fighting uh, the boss. But he was too good for there. Namor, this Namor is SIG 200. Originally, I took him up here for um, Prestige. And he was really good for a lot of different nodes. Uh, Elsa Bloodstone is just a beast. I love her. I use her. Um, she's great on defense in Alliance War. She's good on offense. Love her. Warlock, my boy. Okay. Um, but let me just go through some of these because they're all, I don't want to give you every single story. Nebula, I use in war. Um, Angela, great. Everybody that you see here, I've got a reason for ranking them up. A lot of them, I took up for battlegrounds. Okay. Wiccan, for example, battlegrounds. Wasp was my first rank uh, three, six star. And people thought, you know, um, actually, wait, was she my first rank three? No, she was my third rank three. I took her up to become a throne. Wait, was it? She might have been my first to become Thronebreaker. Um, she does a lot of damage. And people thought I was taking her up just for that. I started using her again with Ghost and was taking out stuff. Okay. Korg, definitely for Battlegrounds. Archangel is a beast. I don't think he needs to be ranked four, but he's not a bad rank four. We got King Groot, which is a recent one. Beast, beast, high sustainability. Hit monkey. Oh, love my hit monkey. Might take him to rank four. Uh, Corvus has fallen out of the meta. I mean, he's still good. Um, if you still like Corvus, you want to take him to rank four. He benefits from it greatly. Okay. But he's a cosmic, and I have a lot of cosmics um, that I took up. All right, so Spider-Ham, love my Spider-Ham. Also good in Battlegrounds. Cosmic Ghost Rider, still not awakened, didn't care, still took him to rank three. Beast, lots of damage. Probably will go eventually to rank four. Uh, Tiger, very, very good. And a great synergy partner with Kitty Pride. Um, Omega Red, I just recently took him up to rank three. And uh, I forget his SIG level, let's see, yeah, 60. And because I run the Recoil Masteries, you know, it, it's, I made a video on Omega Red unawakened with the Recoil Masteries, and he was quite good. So now he's 60, and I still have the Recoil Masteries, he's even better, Okay. So, you know, you don't see a lot of gameplay with him, but he's still really good. Uh, Domino, she was always a pain to fight. And in Battlegrounds, she's really a pain to fight. Okay. We've got Apocalypse. Of course, Ghost. We know about Ghost. Penny Parker, beast on defense and in Battlegrounds. Ultron got a rework. He's quite good now. I used him in Eternity of Pain. Beautiful. All right. We've got I Bomb, Awesome, Odin, Human Torch. Some of these I don't really need to tell a lot of you um, why I took these guys up to rank three. And then you got my Dr. Voodoo. You know, I had to bring my Dr. Voodoo up. That's my boy. All right. We got Toad, who I recently took to rank three. Nimrod, 
probably going to go to rank four, but I want him awakened. Gore, definitely want him in Battlegrounds. Not that big of a fan of fighting with him, but that's because he is recoil uh, mastery unfriendly. Not just not friendly, but unfriendly. Really, take a look at my video. He's he's not. You don't want to run. You don't want to use him with the recoil masteries. Havoc, love my Havoc. Had to take him up. And then look at this. We got Hulkling. He was on my most wanted list for a while. Uh, and of course, I had to take him up. Remember, I said I had a lot of cosmics. Gore and uh, Hulkling are recent rank ups. Okay. Um, got Shang Chi, beast. She Hulk, beast. Sasquatch, I don't want to offend him, um, but he's a beast. Uh, I took up Hulk Buster. No, another cosmic that I want awaken, but I was going to take him to rank four. I chose some others over him, but I was going to take him to rank four. Uh, Anti Venom, awesome. Icarus, another cosmic that I took up. Kingpin, I want to have him awakened. I'll probably take him to rank four. Mole Man, I'd like to get him awakened, but he doesn't really need it. Cersei, another cosmic. And I took her up to rank three. Overseer, beast mode, especially in the battlegrounds, he gets me a lot of wins. All right, then we've got Immortal Hulk, who I just found fun. I like Hulk, and I found him fun to use. End of story. Uh, Magneto, if they are metal, Magneto is going to eat them alive. Um, I think Nimrod might be the only one that can hang. Uh, then we've got Hyperion, another cosmic, beast mode. I'm not going to call Rentra a beast. I don't want him uh, looking at me like that. Mm -mm. But he's also worthy. Any of these that I've mentioned here are potential rank four options. Some of them I'll probably leave at rank three for uh, battleground purposes. And I'll be taking others up before others. You know, like, for example, um, I mentioned Hitmonkey, uh, King Groot, um, <laughs> Korg would be nasty, uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. You know, some of these will have a little bit more of a priority. Nimrod, Toad, um, Hulkling, you know, a lot of these... Uh, Null, King, uh, Kingpin um, are potential rank fours over some of the others. Like Magneto is not in the high list because he is a beast at rank three and doesn't really need rank four. Rank four doesn't offer that much to a lot of um, these champions. All right. So that is rank three. All right. And finally... We got rank four. And all of these I took up with a lot of thought and for a good reason. Dr. Doom, do I need to even say it? Kitty Pride, do I need to say it? Now, Silver Surfer, he was definitely more for prestige, but he's not a bad champion. He's actually a pretty decent champion. But in the Cosmic class, Plenty others that are better than him. Omega Sentinel. Prestige. And she's good. And she's a beast in Battlegrounds. So I had to take her up. She's Sig 200. Silver Surfer, Sig 200. Kitty Pride, Sig 200. Doctor Doom, Sig 200. Nick Fury. I love Nick Fury. Sig 200. And Hercules. To me, king of the um, cosmics. My favorite champion in the game right now. Very simple to play, and he is quite OP. A lot of people don't like him because he is so OP. But very, very simple to play. Love him. And yes, he's SIG 200. Quicksilver, I hunted for Quicksilver. Love Quicksilver. He is fun. I had to get used to his cadence, um, but I also took him to SIG 200. Black Widow Clairvoyant, she is probably my favorite mystic. Okay. Love her, use her almost all the time in Alliance War. Almost all the time. All right. And we got Valkyrie. Wow! Valkyrie. Took her to rank four. Have used her in Alliance War. You'll probably see more of that 
in Alliance War uh, when the season starts up and I start recording them again. Uh, Diablo, beast, especially when you have the recoil masteries. He's made for them. Gallon, I use them all the time. If you ever watch my war videos, look at what Gallon can do on Path 3, Section 1. Crazy. And then Titania, I believe, is the latest rank up to rank 4. Okay, so I've got 12 rank 4 6 stars. All right, so that's my 6-star roster and a little bit behind each one. All right, so now I'm just going to go through the uh, counts. Obviously, I don't have any rank 5s. Um, but I'm going to go through the counts of... The other one. So here's the five stars. All right. So first off, you can see that I have 233 five stars in total. I pretty much have all of them. Um, there are a few, I think, Electro I don't have. And the other ones are pretty much trophy champions or something like that. Um, or behind a paywall. All right. So we've got... Only one rank one because I just recently got Gore in a video. So I haven't had a chance to rank him up. We've got one rank two. I ran out of um, I ran out of uh, uh, resources. Uh, and then I forgot that he's still ranked two. All right. So that's the only reason that he's ranked two. All right. Then we've got 99 rank threes. As soon as I get those other two, then all my champs will be rank three again. Then we've got rank four. Got 60 of those. All right. And then rank five, 72. These days when I run arena, I sometimes use just my rank five, five stars. But if I'm feeling lazy, I'll just use my six stars in both the basic and the featured arena. But it's usually a little bit faster to use my rank fives in the basic and my rank sixes, I mean my rank six, my six stars in the featured arena. Okay, so let's see. I can uh, give you a quick look. Um, you already saw who was ranked one, who was ranked two, uh, show you my rank threes here. Okay. You can see, you can see, you can see. All right. Now, I'll, um, at the end, I'll show you who I don't have. All right, so the rank fours, and you can see the arrow. I have the resources to take them up because they don't require T4 basics. So next, uh, um, I think the level up is coming up. I'll probably end up taking either some of them up or taking up uh, one of my six stars. Okay, and then the rank fives. And a lot of times the rank fives, the story behind the rank fives um, is that I usually did not have them as um, six stars. Look at that Jessica Jones. I took up Jessica Jones, and uh, I have a video, but I don't know. I mean, uh, I have a lot of recordings of my rank ups, um, like my five stars and things like that, that don't make it into the Mystery Rank Up Theater series. And Jessica Jones is one of them. So you haven't seen me do that. I have the, the recordings, but I don't know if I'm going to release them. But I got her in the Greater Banquet Crystal opening twice. I did not awaken her. I duped her. And so I took her right on up. She's actually pretty fun uh, to, to use. All right. So you can see a lot of these. Some of these have been rank five for a very long time. Venom, very long time. I used him in one of the variants. Um, in fact, I even used the four star in one of the variants. All right, so now I wanted to show you, these are the five stars. 
And here are the ones that I don't have. So Iron Fist, Ultra Rare, Gold Pool. That's um, another Ultra Rare, not necessarily uh, a paywall, but I haven't pulled him from any of them Gold Pool crystals that I've gotten. Electro, I'm not even sure if he's in some of these crystals because I haven't seen him. Okay. Um, and then, of course, Deadpool, that's behind a paywall. Um, although, just recently, I believe, for the first time ever, you were able to grind for him in the arena, which I did not. Um, I think it was the six star, but it might have been the five star as well. I, I don't remember. And then, of course, you have Weapon X. And honestly, out of all of these, the only one I would want is Weapon X. All right. Whoops. Didn't mean to go out there. All right. So that was my five stars. And let's go down to the four stars. And I'm not going to go through all of these. So let's just, you see, I have 233. And those are the only two I don't have. So four star Thanos and the Deadpool, which is behind a paywall. Thanos is trophy champ. I have him as a five star, but not as a four star or a six star. Okay. Then we've got my three stars. We'll go unowned there because I pretty much maxed out all the three stars, that kind of thing. Um, again, like I was saying, he's behind a paywall far as I know. So I'm still not sure how I got that two star, but everybody that bought the package has the three star. So unless I bought it, got the champions and then sold them and kept the two star, sold the three star and kept the two star. I, 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 there's other explanations for that. All right. And two stars and this one i have quite a few that i don't have so check it out and that's why anytime i see collector crystals or anything like that i go for them cuz i still have a lot of two stars to collect and um let's see Unowned. And the one stars pretty much have all of them. Why'd I do rank one? Um, uh, there we go. One stars pretty much have all of them except that Deadpool. All right. So that is my roster. Um, here's the relics. This is something new. Um, I have been slowly ranking these guys up. I don't want to use the resources to take up this vision because I'm going to need it for the five stars, uh, and maybe for the four star as well to, you know, increase my prestige for the most part. But here's the relics that I have. Okay. All right. Well, that is going to do it. I don't think there's anything else as far as progression. Um, I can show you guys. Let me see this right here. If it'll let me touch it, what's going on? Okay, that's odd. It's not letting me. It's not letting me, uh, I'm tapping it. It's supposed to, uh, I was going to show you guys. Well, let me see. All right, here we go. Um, story milestones. So here you can see my progression in a, a nicer format here. Conqueror, uncollected, cavalier, throne breaker, paragon. And I am paragon. Okay, 100% completed. All right. And let me see. One last thing. Um, 
trying to think. As far as the uh, progression goes, I showed you that. Showed you the Paragon. Oh. Did not show you the uh, special quests. So I have not done Abyss of Legends. Who knows when I'm going to do it, if I will. It looked boring to me. And the rewards are not all that. Um, but I 100% at everything else. And there also is the gauntlet. Uh, Grandmaster's gauntlet that I've done twice now. And it's going to be coming back. And I'm going to do it again. Um, but they were having issues with it, which is why it went away. Okay, but I did all of these. And now we also have the back issues. I still have not done Deadpoolooza. But all of these, as you can see, I did all the variant difficulties. Um, I haven't done some of the classic ones, and I'm saving those because they usually have um, units in them or some energy refills or something like that, uh, revives. So I'm just saving those. Um, but yeah, I've done all the variants except that last one. This one catered toward um, uh, 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 mercenaries. Well, since that has come out, I've taken Domino and Hitmonkey to rank three. Didn't have him at rank three before. So one of these days, I'm going to do it. Uh, just to say, you know, I completed it and that kind of thing. Um, but haven't done that one yet. Okay, I believe that is it for all of the... Yeah. Yep. Okay, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Sorry, how long is it? Woo! I've been talking for almost 40 minutes. Um, but you guys got to see my roster, got to see my progression, got to hear some of my reasoning uh, for taking some of the champions up. Uh, some of them went up for battlegrounds because they're good defense. Some of them are both defense and offense. So I took them up um, for battlegrounds. Battlegrounds really added a lot more usefulness in some of those champions. Like Korg, I would have never taken Korg up if not for Battlegrounds. Wouldn't have done it. Gore would not have taken him up, except for Battlegrounds. All right, but anyway, take care, and you all have a blessed day.